Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, today we will be discussing planned accumulation and decumulation of inventories. Before we take up a main concept, first let us understand what is inventory. Inventory is nothing but a physical stock of raw material, semi finished goods, or finished goods maintained by firms for smooth functioning of their economic activities. Inventory, we call it as a stock variable as it is measured at a point of time. Let us assume that if they have warehouse, a firm has warehouse which produces a shirts, okay? A firm produces shirts which has a warehouse. The first April 2029 at that point of time what are the uh, number of the number of shirts that they kept in the warehouse is 100 then we are measuring the stock maintained by the firm on 1st april 2019 is num 100 shirts it means that we are measuring at point of time. So because of this reason, we call it inventory is a stock variable. Then change in inventory. What do you mean by change in inventory? And why change in inventory? We call it as flow variable. Because change in inventory usually measured over a period of time. As it is measured over a period of time, that is nothing but a opening stock and closing stock. Opening start, that is a, a opening stock is nothing but a the beginning of the year and closing stock is the end of the year. So we are measuring the stock or change in stock over a period of time, that is from 1st April to 31st March, which we call it as a financial year. So what is the financial year? 1st April to 31st March of next year. So here I have taken 19 and 2000. So 1st April 2019 to 31st March 2020, we call it as a financial year for India. As it is measured over a period of time, we call it change in inventory as flow variable. Then what do you mean by investment? Investment is nothing but a addition to the stock of capital for firm. Let us assume that there is a firm which has already has two machines or two capital goods. Now, if it is going to buy third and fourth machine, then this added machines, we call it as investment. It is inventory. Inventory is a stock of unsold, finished, semi-finished raw materials, which a firm carries from one year to next year is called inventory. Inventory is a stock variable as it is measured at the point of time. Change in inventory is the difference between opening stock and closing stock. As it is measured over a period of time. This change in inventory may be a planned or unplanned. Now let us discuss unplanned accumulation and decumulation of inventories. What is unplanned accumulation? Unexpected rise in the stock of inventory which was not planned earlier. Un unknowingly or unexpectedly if the stock of inventory increases then it is called unplanned accumulation. Then what is the decumulation means unexpected fall in this stock of inventory, we call it as decumulation of inventories. Let us understand in a proper manner. When the stock of inventory is going to increase unexpectedly means when there is a 
unexpected fall in the sales of the firm so unexpected fall in sales the firm will have unsold stock of goods it had not anticipated or expected hence there will be unplanned accumulation of inventory then what is a decumulation unplanned decumulation why there is a, a fall in the stock of inventory when the stock will decrease in inventory means unexpected rise in the sales if demand for their product increases and which was not anticipated definitely they have to take out the, the items of the inventories from the stock so what happens the stock is going to decrease so unexpected rise in the sales there will be unplanned decumulation of inventories so let us understand unplanned accumulation and decumulation of inventory a firm which produces shirts has a inventory of 100 shirts in the warehouse and it is expected to keep 100 shirts as a stock or inventory and this firm is expecting 1000 shirts demand in the market that means when it is expecting 1000 shirts demand means it need to supply how many shirts 1000 shirts so firm is going to produce 1000 shirts in the factory or in the firm now it is going to bring those 1000 shirts into the market actually in the market actual demand expected demand is 1000 but actually they are able to sell only 600 shirts how many shirts they produced 1000 shirts but how much they are able to sell only 600 the left 400 will be sent to warehouse then the stock is going to increase from 100 shirts to 500 shirts which was not planned and because of unexpected fall in the sales there is an increase in inventory and this we call it as unplanned accumulation let us have a, a the short view on this concept what was the stock that is 100 and they plan to keep only 100 shirts what was the expected demand 1000 that means they are ready to supply 1000 shirts so they are going to produce 1000 shirts but actually in the market demand is 600 so they are able to sell the sales is equal to 600 only that means they are able to sell only 600 the left is 400 which is added to stock then what is unplanned accumulation 400 shirts has been added the stock increases which was not expected so dear students after giving a meaning of unplanned accumulation you have to explain with an example a firm produces shirts and it starts the year with an inventory of 100 shirts during the coming year it expects to sell 1000 shirts so it produces 1000 shirts expecting to keep an inventory of 100 at the end of the year however during the year the sales of shirts turned out to be unexpectedly low that means sales are going to decrease the firm is able to sell only 600 shirts this means that firm is left with the 400 unsold shirts the firm end the year with 400 plus 100 which is equal to 500 shirts the unexpected rise in the inventory by 400 
will be an example of unplanned accumulation of inventories. Dear students, now let us understand what is unplanned accumulation. Let us understand with an example. If a firm is going to keep 100 shirts in the godown or in the warehouse and it want to keep only 100 shirts and the firm is expecting that the demand for their shirts in the market is 1000. So firm is going to produce 1000 shirts what happens in the market there is a unexpected rise in the demand how much they expected thousand shirts demand so they brought thousand shirts into the market but in the market if you see the demand is more than thousand shirts that is thousand fifty shirts now there is a shortage of fifty shirts which they are going to bring from the warehouse so when they take out 50 shirts from 100 shirts, the warehouse or the stock is left with the 50 shirts only. That means unexpected rise in the sales. What happens? Sales has been increased. As sales increases, the warehouse or the stock in the warehouse is going to decrease. And this we call it as unplanned decumulation of inventory. Let us have a glance on this. The stock, how much they maintain? 100 and they plan to keep 100 only. Okay. The expected demand is 1000 shirts and they are going to produce 1000 shirts. But unexpectedly, there is a greater demand than they expected. Then the sales are going to increase from 1000 to 1050. So they have to bring that 50 shirts from the warehouse. So definitely what happens when they remove 50 out of 100 shirts, there is a deduction or decrease in the stock. And that stock is left with the remaining 50, which we call it as unplanned accumulation. Dear students, you can see unplanned decumulation of inventory. On the other hand, the sales had been more than 1000. We would have unplanned decumulation of inventories. For example, if the sales had been 1050, then not only the production of 1000 shirts will be sold, the firm will have to sell 50 shirts out of inventory. This unexpected reduction in inventory is an example of unexpected accumulation of inventories. Dear students, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.